Okay, so today we're gonna make my favorite freshie. They're cardstock freshies, and these are definitely my top seller. So all it is is a cardstock that is baked into a freshie. And these are really cool because they're super customizable. Um, as you can see, there's a wide variety of things. If you have the picture, then you can make it into a freshie. So we're gonna be making six different ones today. So to start, we're gonna do these ones. This was a wholesale order from a customer. Um, and these first ones are men's, so I'm not gonna put glitter in it. So these are my favorite circle molds. I'll put a link in the post and in the comments or in the bottom of the YouTube video. Um, but these molds are super cool because they're pretty much indestructible. They're nice and thin, so they don't take a really long time to cook. And they're cheap because they're on Amazon. So they actually come in a bigger one. Um, it's a uh, three by four, but I just cut it in half because I really don't have a lot that don't want glitter. But this is the one that I've designated to be glitter free. So the first thing you do is you have your card stock all set up. And I already made a video about how to do that. I'll add the link to that as well in case you missed it. But these are really easy to make on your own. So you just put it face down in your circle and then you wanna make sure that it's centered. So I'll stand up over it and then I'll just make sure that it's centered. And then all I do is I have my beads and I hold it down with one finger and then I just pour the beads on top. So with these, I like to spread it out as I pour so I can see how much there is. I fill it about halfway, so that looks pretty good. And then the customer wants the same scent and the same color, so I'll just set this one in the center. And then again, since I'm not adding glitter, I just hold it in place and then pour my beads over it. And you wanna make sure they're even. A lot of times there's a tendency to have them kind of too much on the side, so I just pat and spread them out. So those two are done. And then I just like to keep my beads in jars. I'll show you. This is how I organize them. So I have a color for every single scent. So every scent has the colors already mixed up. And that makes it really quick and easy for me to grab and mix them up. So this next one, that one I just did was teakwood mahogany. And this one is vanilla, already pre-mixed. I label the top so that I can tell. Um, and I'm doing the exact same design. It's that beer mullet design, which is super weird, but people like it. So again, we just make sure it gets centered and then I just pour the beads on top. So as you can see, these are super easy. Really the hardest part is just making the cardstock, which isn't too bad. And then I'm doing the same one with this one. It's also gonna be a vanilla one. So I'll center it and then I'll pour and then I'll spread them out. So just like that, we have four of those done and now they need to go to the oven. But before I take those to the oven, I'll show you how to do glitter ones. Okay, so to make glitter ones, it's pretty much the exact same thing. You're just adding an extra step. So here's my design that the customer wanted. It's a Send Nudes one. That one's one of my favorites. Um, they ordered it for Valentine's Day. So I'm just going to put it centered in here. And then before you add the beads, you're going to want to take glitter. So this is the glitter I'm using on this one. I'm just going to take a little bit sprinkle it around and then I like to spread it out to make sure that it's spread really well. So I'm just gonna spread it. You don't want it all clumped in one spot or it can make your freshie look kind of funny. Okay so now that that's spread out this smell is love spell and I chose a yellow color. So I'm just gonna hold it down make sure it's centered and then just like before you're just pouring your beads in spreading them out and boom, I'll do one more so you can see it. Again, it's that same design. This time though, we're going to do it in cucumber melon. And this time I did like a gold color. So I'll set that here. We're just going to put it face down, just like that. Then you take your glitter, you spread it out. That one I got a lot, which will make it super glittery. So again, I just take my finger, shove it over to the side so that it's spread out. And then I like to have my jar or whatever I'm pouring with open so that I can just grab it and then dump it in. And again, you just fill it about halfway. So now these two are ready to bake. I'm gonna finish the rest of the pan and then I will go put them in the oven. So now 
they're done. So I bake on 325 and these take about 13 minutes, but every single oven's gonna be different. So make sure that you test yours. So you just stick them in. And then just make sure you set a timer because nothing is worse than having left freshies because they just burn and then they don't work very well. Okay, so I just pulled these out of the oven. Now what I do to check is I put my finger on it and I kind of roll it around and I'm just making sure, I just do it on a couple, and I'm just making sure that the beads don't move because if they're not fully cooked, you'll be able to roll the bead around. But those are clearly stuck together, so this pan is done. Then I have one more pan in there that I'm gonna pull out. Okay, so here, looking at them, you can tell because they're really glossy. So like these ones I'm not very worried about, but this one is the one that looks like maybe it's not quite cooked all the way. But then when I roll my finger over it, none of the beads are coming up, so it looks pretty good. And then I'll just check this one. And these are all done. So then all you do now is you just let them cool off. And with silicone, you wanna make sure that they cool completely before you try to pop them out because otherwise you'll bend the cardstock that's on the bottom and then it won't look right. Okay, so now I've let these cool off. It's probably been about 20 minutes or so. Um, you could always speed it up by setting them outside if it's cold outside, but don't put them in your fridge or in your freezer because it can make all of your food taste like freshies, which probably isn't that good for you. Um, so the way you can tell when they're cool, they'll feel really hard. Um, that's normal. My freshies aren't like crazy bendy. They bend a little bit, but they should be pretty firm. So I just flip it over. And then now you can see all the fun designs. And then all I do is I push on the edge of them and that helps the cardstock from bending. So you just pop them out. You can do it on two sides, that's usually enough. And then you can peel off your circle mold. Oops, we got one left here. Okay. And then you have all of your circles. So then the last thing that you'll need to do is where you have your hole in your cardstock. Um, I like to drill a hole. If you use nails, then I should have mentioned this earlier, but you wanna put your nail in before you set your cardstock down in the mold. So you'll just thread your cardstock through the nail and then at the end you'll pop the nail out. But I just like to drill and then you'll put a string on it and then you have your brand new freshie. So hopefully you found that helpful.